and your nerve with the TV on to claim that a man that you just saw on the screen. Ese tipo tiene que ser pájaro. Real men do not cross their legs when they sit down. I was baffled in your clear criticism of the way a man is seated comfortably in his chair. I tried to explain to you that being gay is not about how a man sits. Plenty of American men cross their legs when they sit. But also, there isn't anything wrong with a man crossing his legs if that is in fact how he feels most comfortable. I think you hear me, but not really. Of course, you didn't know that you were in the presence of one of those queers. I had not announced my queer self when I arrived at Aeropuerto Las Americas in Santo Domingo. I figured it safest not to. One stimulation at a time, I did not want to risk rejection directly preceding my welcome. So I held back again. A memory. When I was 18 or 19, I was moving out of my parents' house. On my way out the door, my father asked me without warning if I was gay. Beyond stunned, I'd never even heard him say the word gay before. What I think I remember happening, I looked to my mother who was sitting next to him, hoping for some relief that she might say, ay, deja la quieta. I, I stumbled upon an answer. I said, what? Or, no. I don't even remember what happened past the question and the looks on their faces awaiting my response. Around that time, I'd had my first intimate experience with a woman. With his question, I, I felt unheld, exposed, caught. This accusation covered in a threat in our lack of intimate relationship, it felt so foreign to be asked something so intimate. I'm reminded of the distance I try to limit between us due to the miles that already exist there. Don't rock the boat, as they say. Better yet, don't drift too far from the shoreline where there is shelter where it's safe. I wish, I wish I remembered my response. I awkwardly slid my way out the door that day, feeling guilty, full of secrets. 